Well, hello, welcome back to the channel. Um, come this week to a place called Clacken of Campsie, which is just in the kind of uh, southern foothills of the, the Campsie Hills. Um, and I've come here because I've got a project I'm working on just now, um, and I need to have two pictures, which I've actually been waiting for. Um, I don't know how long to come and get these. I really wanted to get uh, these ones in the snow, but it's now April and uh, the snow is all gone. So. I'm just going to have to make do with blazing sunshine, which is what we've got now. So, uh, that, that was lockdown for you, you know, gets kind of stuck sitting at home looking out the snow at my window and thinking I should be out taking pictures. But, you know, what can you do? I'm here now, I have to get these pictures taken, so we're going to take them. Uh, like I say, two pictures, they both need to be, for this particular project, a uh, 2 by 3 format, so I have to work within those confines. Um, I might also, for the second picture, I might try and take a pano while I'm up there. Um, but we'll get to that later. However, like I say, this is the first of the two pictures. I'm in the graveyard at Clacken of Campsie. I'm looking over at this thing over here, which is a, a mausoleum, mausoleum for someone whose name I don't remember. Um, but uh, yeah, our family in fact, local bigwigs. Um, so yeah, I need to get a picture of that first off. Now I've been fairly lucky in that I've just plonked my camera down, it's right behind me here, uh, plonked it down, pointed in the right general direction and I've got straight off the bat, without moving around, nothing, picture I'm happy with. So I'm just going to, I'll walk you through the shot and uh, you can tell me what you think. Alright, tell me in, in the comments. Well, here we are. Um, as I say, I just plugged the camera down, pointed it directly at the um, at the mausoleum, and I've got pretty much exactly the picture that I need to get. Uh, let me switch on the movie. As I said before, uh, or as I say frequently, uh, I want to take this shot in a two by three, but uh, the movie. Let me just move myself a bit. The movie on this camera only shoots in a, a sixteen by nine, so it's chopping off the top and the bottom of the picture they'll be there when I actually take the photograph. So, yeah, there's the shot I'm looking at, looking over at the, the mausoleum. I've got this thing here, this grave, like a leading line pointing in, leading up towards the, the mausoleum itself. Uh, it's running through the bottom of the rule of thirds. I've got the mausoleum sitting here, up on this one here, and I've got the back wall running the top on this one. So. Uh, yeah, a dead simple shot, nice easy composition, everything falling into place. What more could I ask for? So let me just stay uh, switch off that movie, like that. Everything is fine, and I shall just uh, take the picture. One, two, three, click. So that's that first shot out of the way, that's, uh, like I said, a nice simple composition. Uh, so now I'm heading up the hill towards where I want to take my second shot of the day. Um, it's a thing called the Allenhead Ruin, it's the ruin of an old farmhouse basically. Um, like I said, I'd hope to catch it in the snow, but that's not going to happen now, thanks to the Covid. But, you know, you work with what you've got. So I've got a nice sunny day instead, I uh, couldn't ask for a nicer day. It's maybe not ideal for, oh hang on, just step over this wee burn here. <laughs> not ideal for landscape photography, but that doesn't matter this time round, because uh, I'm not really taking, or not trying to create, I should say, a piece of art in this instance. It's just a, a functional photograph to illustrate an article. So, uh, doesn't need to be great. Doesn't mean I can't uh, 
try hard and get the, the rules of composition into place and that kind of stuff, but you know, it's a bit more, uh, what's the word I'm after? A bit more leeway, I think, uh, which is good because uh, with this bright sunshine, it's all gonna be very, very harsh. So yeah, we're going to head up this hill. Once again, I'm puffing and panting because I'm out of shape, but only one way to get rid of that. <laughs> so I was just thinking there, it is, like I say, it's a beautiful sunny day and uh, it's only I think 10 days now since I was down filming the video, which was sort of two weeks ago, down at the, the fourth bridge, if you recall that one. Uh, I'll stick a card up there somewhere. Uh, aye. <laughs> um, and I was complaining then about the snow. And here we are, it's a scorching hot day. Absolutely gorgeous. And that is how quickly the weather changes in this part of the world. Um, certainly in the spring, you can go from snow to belting hot in a matter of days. Trouble is, in the winter, or in the autumn rather, it does exactly the same but in reverse. And uh, that's not so pleasant. So we've arrived up at the um, the Allenhead Ruin now, this is it here. It's a, an old ruined farmhouse that's been there for a good couple of hundred years, I believe, if not longer. Um, obviously, nobody lives there now, as you can probably guess. Uh, aye, so we're, we're just what, a couple of hundred metres up the hill. It's not too far, fairly steep climb up here, but not too far. We're looking down on Campsie Glen, which is just down here. And across the way there, we've got Court Malaw, which is this hill across here. Um, with the car park up on the Crow Road. The Crow Road goes right up through Campsie Glen over towards Fintry. Um, and we've got what they call the car park in the sky, which is a, a huge car park, a huge, biggish car park, uh, just on the, the side of Court Malaw, where uh, people who are walking in the Campsies tend to park. A very popular car park, and I can see it from here. Absolutely stout. And uh, me across here, there's no one here except me. It's fantastic. Uh, swinging round, we've got just down here, we've got the um, Clacken of Campsie, down that way somewhere. Over there, Lennox Town, over beyond it, we've got Cumbernauld, Kakantilla. You can just make out in the horizon the, uh, the Southern Highlands there. That could be Tinto Hill, I'm not sure. I think it could be. And Glasgow is just kind of over behind that hill, around that way somewhere. So, yeah, anyway, that's where we are. I'm going to turn my back on you now, and you'll get to see the back of my big baldy head. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, we're all set up. We're looking at the uh, the ruin. I'll put the uh, put the movie on so you can see what we're looking at now. I've got in the foreground here, uh, taking up a lot of the space down here. We've got this big rock, which I found, um, and that's actually ideal. I needed something like that because otherwise the foreground was just going to be all this grass which was looking fairly dull and fairly boring. So yeah, we've got the rock, we've got the tree over here, sitting on the rule of thirds, and I've got, we're looking up the hill, directly at the ruin here, which is, again, it's not quite sitting on that rule of thirds, which is what I would have liked, but I couldn't quite get the, um, couldn't get everything to fit into the picture, so I've, I've done my best. I wonder if, let's try lowering it a tad. Uh, might be better just there, something like that. Okay, things aren't quite in, in, in the right place, but I'm sure I can figure it out in Photoshop just how I can squeeze everything in. All right, so that's us, switch the movie off. And I think that will do for my picture. One, two, three, no, 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 not one, two, three, anything. Focus, focus, Douglas, focus. Up there, and then we'll go. One, two, three. Click. So I've moved a bit further up the hill now and I'm going to take 
uh, a panoramic shot just for my own pleasure, just because I can. Um, basically the same process as last week, I'll show you it in a minute, but uh, yeah, I'll set it into manual mode. Uh, I've made sure already that this thing is flat. My wee bubble on the tripod is smack bang in the centre. And uh, so when I spin it round, um, we should be able to, if I switch the movie on in fact, I'll show you what I'm looking at here. Uh, spin it round like that and you can see we're going to take in the ruin, we're going to take in the tree and we're going to take in the hill, Court Malaw. Alright, and uh, I don't think we're going to come, we are catching the car park I think, maybe not. Yeah, I think we might. Yeah, so we'll take in all of that, switch that off again. Now what, what I am doing in fact, I think I said this before, it's in a portrait mode when I'm taking these panoramic shots. Reason being, as you go around, um, it's giving you plenty on the top and the bottom to kind of cut off. Now, because I'm, I'm doing it, what, about 90 degrees or so, right round, um, then Photoshop, when it actually puts the shot together, it'll put it into a kind of, like an arc, I suppose. And if, if you take it in horizontal, um, it's going to cut a whole lot off. So you take it in, it's still going to cut it off when you put it in portrait, but there's a lot more for it to, to cut off, a lot more for it to play with, basically. So that's why, that's why I'm in portrait mode. Uh, so yeah, I'll uh, take you through, shot by shot, or bit by bit I should say, of how I'm actually going about setting up this picture. So I've got the camera set up now, pointing at the, the kind of scene that I want to take here. Um, I did try pointing that camera there at the back of the screen here, but it's just so bright that I uh, couldn't see a thing. It was just, it just looked like a black kind of space. And there's no point showing you a black space for however long it takes me to, to set it up. So I'll talk you through the process again, just as I did before. And uh, you'll just have to kind of imagine what's on your screen. <laughs> okay, so at the moment I'm sitting in the aperture priority and I'm in autofocus. So first thing I want to do is I want to focus on the house. Okay, and I'm going to set it into manual mode. Now the reason I'm doing that, as I said before, I'm taking shots over there, taking shots right around here. And I want everything to be in exactly the same focus. Um, because I want everything to kind of stitch together. Okay, so I'm working at F10. I'm in aperture priority mode just now, but I don't want to be in, uh, in aperture priority mode. I want to be in manual mode. So, I switch right to manual there. Okay. And I'm going to dial in my histogram, which is one of these buttons. Cycle through the whole lot. What that showed me just now, it's actually, oh, it's still sitting at the, the, the one second exposure that I had last week for the, um, for the, uh, the that boathouse that I took the picture of. So one second, way too long. I think when I had it on aperture, it was at one two hundredth of a second. But what I'll do, I'll dial the time down, the exposure time. It's still sitting at F10. And I'm going to move it until I see the aperture coming in without overexposing or underexposing. And that's actually telling me F10, 1 60th of a second looks about right. So let's keep it at that. Now, the thing I'm going to do now, I think I did this before as well. I'll just loosen that off and I'm going to point the camera at everything in the entire arc that I want to take the panel of, just to make sure that none of it is going to overexpose, which would mean that the the graph would be too high on the uh, on the right hand side. You really want that as kind of close to the right hand side as you possibly can without it overexposing. So I'm sitting at roughly, I've moved around to 1 50th of a second for now. Okay, and as I take it back round, 1 50th of a second, F10. And there we go. So everything seems pretty much fine. So that said, I'm just going to put the, put the picture back on. I've already made sure that it's absolutely flat uh, with the wee kind of 
graph thing that I've got on the graph, the, the leveler thing on the camera. And I know that when I spin it around, it's going to be the same level all the way through. It's flat all the way through. So, yeah, that's me. And I'll just move it around a couple of degrees on the tripod each time, take another shot. And then uh, I'll stitch the whole lot together in, um, in Photoshop. And hopefully, if it works, uh, this should be the picture coming up now. Well, that's it. We're coming to the end of another vlog. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, just do the usual. Leave some comments down below because I always appreciate comments. Please like, please subscribe, hit the little bell icon in the corner, whatever it is. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.